You know, I have been using iOS 26 beta 2 for the past two days and in my honest opinion, that blur they added to the control center, they actually overdid it because they have practically killed every ounce of liquid glass there was in the control center on beta 1. Apple has to find a way to adjust this to be more visible to the eye without actually killing the points of the liquid glass. Yeah, in my opinion, I kind of prefer how it was on beta 1. It looks better aesthetically even if it doesn't look readable to many people they also added this kind of a contrast to the notification icons and the notification bar that controls that text it looks also more readable to the eyes on beta 2. one funny hidden stuff that we found later on was in the keyboard if you add an Arabic transliteration keyboard to your iPhone in keyboard settings, you now have the number row. Of course, this would have been very sweet to use on the betas if the Arabic thing didn't make the texting stuff to be by the left. Yeah, because that left means it's not usable. But I hope this is like a sign Apple is going to add the option for a number row as it's going to be very sweet. For the end of the keyboard looks a lot like one UI's keyboard currently for some reason. Am I the only one that thinks that? One also key it should have fixed was the focus mode. Yeah, on the lock screen, when you add a lock screen widget that stays by the bottom, the focus mode usually like overlapped with it on beta 1. So on beta 2, they added a little margin between focus mode and the lock screen widget bar. Yeah, and it looks a lot better. We also have the new tab button on Safari. It has been brought down yeah it was previously at the top in beta 1 and it was actually very annoying to reach especially if you use a pro max iphone so apple brought it back to the bottom left on beta 2 and it's a lot better thank you apple we have a new system widget called live radio for the music app on beta 2 as well yeah it's not really anything special but it's new so i had to just tell you guys the camera app in my opinion you know apple redesigned it completely they added the whole liquid glass interface the camera app and it was very buggy in beta 1 so thankfully in beta 2 it's like 50 percent less buggy which is a lot of improvements for just one update obviously it will still get better over time also if you check low power mode now on your iphone this is the iphone 12 where i run the beta on if you try to turn on low power mode in battery settings you'd see a kind of description iphone will temporarily reduce some background activities processing speed and display brightness and limit certain features such as 5g icloud syncing mail fetch promotion on promotion iphones and more yeah so you now have a more accurate idea of what low power mode does on your device for performance and battery drain battery drain is still annoying like how it was on beta 1 yeah someone even said it drains faster on beta 2 than how it drained on beta 1 but then the person said performance has improved and in my honest opinion performance was already good even on beta 1 i ran a couple geekbench scores for cpu on the a14 bionic on the iphone 12 you can see single core is practically the same with all you have on beta 1 yeah but multi-core has a little drop which i can probably attribute to like the fact that i ran this the same day i updated to beta 2 if you compare the geekbench scores to the ones i ran for 18.4.1 you would see they are practically the same and the single core is even better so i can't really say there's any difference overall they kind of even each other out so that's it for beta 2 i've taken my time to try it out of course if you're on beta 1 you should definitely upgrade to beta 2 it's a no-brainer